So the people are angry. And what happened in the UK with the increase in tuition going up, check it out, 200 percent. You think they're angry? And by the way, they also know that an education is a degree in worthlessness these days because it doesn't mean you're going to get a job. So if people want to look at something really hot going on, stay with that story and stay with this. They took it out of the British news like that. It was wiped out of the news, of the off with their heads news, the day it happened. So this is something really to, to focus in on. That's what it's come to. And this is the aggravation and anger while people are losing their homes. They have lousy jobs. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what the deal is. It's this. Get up in the morning, go to work. I don't care if the kids are sick, get somebody to take care of them. And take that lousy commute that you hate. And when you get to work, I don't want to hear any belly aching. Do your job, even though you hate it and you have the job because you need the money and you need the benefits. And stay late. And then I'll tell you what to do with your money. We're seeing big calls for internet censorship. Google was in the Wall Street Journal two days ago. They had a big report where they're being caught not just censoring alternative news, but also their competition. Uh, Google is really needs to be replaced, like MySpace or other things that become draconian. It's time to leave Google. It's time to start the exodus away from uh, that Big Brother uh, institution. Uh, we've got Gerald Salente joining us. So what they're going to do is they're going to keep coming harder and harder down on the people to stop the revolution. So that's what we're up against. It's going to be a cyber war, and it's going to be the real war. It's going to be the government crackdowns and the people trying to rise up. It's no different than any other revolution. You know, I'm glad you raised that issue because I want to discuss what you see happening in the next year, what's going to happen in the economy. When people lose everything and they have nothing left to lose, they lose it. And they're losing it because they're losing their homes. They're losing their jobs. These guys, these people getting in and women getting out of college, again, with these degrees in worthlessness, they can't find jobs. You think they're angry? And they got all that testosterone running through these guys. You think they're going to take to the streets and take it out on somebody? When is it going to happen? It's going to happen when people finally wake up to the reality that the dollar isn't going to be worth a dime that all they've saved, they've, they've saved for nothing. They find out that they're rich, as we've seen, and I love it now. Now that it's, it's, I've been saying this, I don't know how many years, that the gap between the rich and the poor is the widest in the U.S. than any of the industrialized nations. Now, just now, mainstream media is finally saying that. So as they see the richer get richer and them getting poorer, what do they have to lose by taking to, taking to the streets? Nothing. So what we're going to look at here's, and by, I want to make this clear also. We predicted the crash of 2010. It's in the Trends Journal. It was a top trend that came out last December, a year ago. What we made it, we made it perfectly clear it would not be an equity market crash because it was a rigged market and it was going to be cheap interest rates that keep floating this. And we also said, there would be schemes undreamed of that would keep propping it up. And we saw the scheme that just came out as a result of the, Frank, the Dodd-Frank bill that the Federal Reserve has dealt, loaned, and, and under the table dealt over thir $13 trillion all over the world to all different kinds of companies, General Electric. Harley-Davidson, McDonald's, Credit Suisse, Deutsche Bank, the Tokyo Banks, Bank of England. It's what the con game is that they're conning us with the bank deals. So, yeah, they're propping it up. But what we're saying is that it's collapsed. And people, the, the headline story, Alex, for the Trends Journal's top trends that are coming out in a few weeks for 2011 is Wake Up Call 2011. Only the blind, the inept, the ideologically driven, and little kids aren't going to know the deal. And the deal is this. Europe has collapsed. There is no EU. It's gone. They're not going to be able to bail out Portugal. 
They won't be able to bail out Spain. Ireland is toast. They're not going to be able to salvage Italy with its 120 percent of debt to GDP ratio. They won't salvage Greece. The Germans are going to go off on their own. There's going to be a global currency crisis. It's happening in front of us. Why do you think people, why can't they wake up and see why gold is trading at $1,400 an ounce? There is no end in sight, but the end will come when the markets collapse and we believe that there's going to be a global financial crisis, a, a crack up in 2011 that people will no longer be able to deny. The Germans are saying they're getting ready to leave uh, the euro uh, if this continues. And I've seen the financial breakdowns. This is mathematically impossible uh, to pay back. And the system knows that. So they're just trying to suck as much as they can while telling everybody that everything's fine. Exactly. And by the way, that's where this whole WikiLeaks thing comes in. That's, I don't know if you saw the video of me on Fox uh, about a week and a half ago when the WikiLeaks story broke and how they, had it, how they set me up. They had four against me. And Stay I there. Tell the, us about it when we get back. Most of Congress, with the exception of Ron Paul and a few others. There's suck-ups and bow-downs. I tell you, Alex, the worst job I ever had was when I was the assistant to the secretary of the New York State Senate. And I watched grown men grovel all day long. And I had lousy jobs in my day. Well, that was the worst when I was a young man out of graduate school. So this is who they are. They're used to bowing, o bending over and sucking up, so they feel we should too. And I'm sick and tired of them telling me what I should believe, what I should think, and what I should do. I do a lot of speaking engagements uh, around the world, and this is my favorite kind of group to come to, because you have a community of souls whose objective is to be the best that they could be, and to reach the highest levels. So anytime you're talking to a group of people like that with free minds and with no barriers, it makes it a lot easier for my kind of work because as a trend forecaster, there are no barriers. So Wealth Masters has no restrictions. Anybody could become and reach any height that they want. So it's the perfect venue for someone like me who believes the same thing. I created my own profession. It didn't exist. There's no such thing as a trend forecaster. They don't teach it in college. So I relate perfectly to this because, there, again, there are no boundaries. You visualize your future and you make it happen. So in knowing that, that that's what this group is about, it's exciting for me to be a part of it. So I provide a level of knowledge that's not accessible in many other areas, trend knowledge. So it, to me, it's a perfect fit because in order for these people, in order for wealth masters to achieve their goals and the people in the community, they have to move forward with the best knowledge that they have so when the future comes, they're not taken by surprise. We live in a world where far too many people just don't understand finances. And this company is doing such a great service to uh, Americans and to people all over the world to help them to understand not only finances of a country or of an economy, but of your own individual mini economy, your economy, your bank account, your job, your business, your piece of the American rock, as they say. So I can't say good enough things about Wealth Masters. I think they are fantastic. economic era, Wealth Masters is vital to anyone that wants to weather the storm coming ahead.